hi everybody welcome back to my channel so i know it's been a while i meant to get this video out a couple of days ago but life has been hectic life is always hectic um but i did want to mention that we will be changing things up for the 2024 year i will no longer being t i will no longer be doing tpr videos because i feel like i am putting too much pressure on myself to read these specific sets of of books instead of just going with what I want to go with so there will be no more start of the month TBR videos but if you guys would like to see them again as a more this is what I hope to read instead of this is what I'm going to read or any other type of TBR related videos um, I will be willing to do that um, but today I'm going to be talking about the books that I read for January so I actually had quite a lot of books that I read this month, but I only currently have one with me right now. Um, this is an anthology of work inspired by Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, titled Wonderland. And this is edited by Marie O'Regan and Paul Kane. It has a bunch of short stories and poems surrounding around the adventures of Alice in Wonderland. And also... Um, Alice Through the Looking Glass. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but, but these were written by Lewis Carroll. And so people have taken those stories and written many different types of books or short stories, I should say. I'm not actually finished with this book. I'm reading this with a friend, but we did read about, I want to say six of these before the end of the month. So I'm going to count it anyway, because I did read from this. Um, but this will also be counting towards the February wrap up. So just be in mind that this is a two month book. So I really enjoyed this. From what I've read so far, I give it like five stars, six stars, basically. Um, another book that I read, I actually started in December, but I finished the first week of January and that is Hooked by Emily McIntyre. McIntyre? I'm not quite sure. I'm so sorry. But that book centers around Peter Pan, Captain Hook, and all that. It is a dark romance retelling of Peter Pan involving Wendy, who is Peter Pan's daughter. He's not Peter Pan, but um, Wendy, who's Peter's daughter, and Captain Hook, who is James. Uh, this is a very dark book. It deals with very deep and dark subjects. Um, the first half of the book, absolutely loved it. This is a very spicy book. I want to let you know that right now. Um, it is extremely spicy. And there are torture scenes, so please keep that in mind because that kind of threw me off. But the first part of the book is beautifully written. And I absolutely adored it. I kind of, it took me a while to read this because one, I was buddy reading it. And two, the torture scenes were like getting to me. I wasn't prepared for them. Um, and then the second half of the book was more cheesy. And it, it was quite enjoyable. I have to say it was quite enjoyable. So I gave it four stars. Um, I do have book two in the series this is the never after series called scarred waiting for me in march i'm reading that one with a friend too the next book i dnf'd i also read this at the end of december for christmas and it is called a merry little meet cute by julie murphy and sarah no sierra simone absolutely hate that book i love the premise the book is about a adult film star who She's plus size and she gets cast into a family-friendly movie with her childhood crush, who is an ex-boy band member. And lo and behold, he subscribes to her fan page. So it's a very interesting um, concept. But I honestly would have enjoyed the book a lot better if... Um, I can't remember his name. I believe his name is Nate. If his entire thing was not there, I would be entirely happy. There was just so much wrong with his point of view where he only refers to her as her adult star name in his head instead of her actual name. 
that ticked me off a little bit. And then there's also this whole thing with gingerbread lotion that just, I DNF'd like 30% through. I was just like, I cannot get through this. This is killing me. So I DNF'd that book. I will not be picking it up and I will not be continuing the series because I know there's a novella and another book. I really wish I could have gotten into it because it seemed cute and fun and light. And at the beginning, I was laughing. I was in love with it. And then crash landing. So I'm very sad about that. And the next book that I read is actually my Fable Book Club's pick, which is The Fear by Natasha Preston. I read that in two days. We had lost internet for two days. So I just sat down and I read it. Oh my goodness. Six stars. I love Natasha Preston's book. Last year for a book club, I think it was the very first book. Our very first book was The Island by Natasha Preston. Six stars. Loved it. And once again, absolutely loved it. It is one of my favorite books. Um, I'm definitely going to be reading all of her books from now on. They are just amazing. So I'm really happy I read that. So the premise of The Fear is actually about a small fishing town where a meme is circulating in the local high schools in the area where you repost about your biggest fear, how you would hate to die. And everyone's just joking and laughing about it. And then people start ending up dead by their biggest fear. And now this girl named Izzy, she is noticing it is getting closer and closer to home. So she has to figure out who the killer is and why they're doing this. And every single part of this book made me just, I was anxious to see what happened next. I swear in two days, I read this book in 24 hours. In between those two days together, it was 24 hours. I just binged it all. I absolutely loved it. And I'm excited to announce that, um, in June, we're going to be reading The Lake by Natasha Preston, but I'll get into that later. Um, so that is all. Oh, wait, is that all? Let me double check. I'm pretty sure I read one more book, but I cannot remember for the life of me. I could have sworn I read one more. Ah, I also read... <laughs> Ankle Snatcher by Grady Hendrix, with, which is his short story um, about a boy. Well, he's not a boy anymore, but it's about a boy whose father is convicted of ending his mother. And he claims, no, it wasn't me. It was the boogeyman, the ankle snatcher. He got her when she stepped out of bed at night. So this whole time he knows his father did it. He's not saying his father didn't do it, but he's always had that fear of what if it wasn't? And then one day he brings a girl home from work on a date and the ankle snatcher comes. So it's a very short book. Um, it's only about maybe not even 50 pages. I devoured it in a few hours um, mainly because I wanted to take my time with it. I love Grady Hendrix books and this was an absolute beautiful teaser taste of what he can write. I've read two more of his books um, last year, A Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires and How to Sell a Haunted House. And I have, I think, three or four more left to go. I, I also know he is writing another book this year and I'm just excited. I'm ready for a full length novel by him again. He is the perfect horror writer and I am happy to read him. Read him. So that actually is all the books I've read this month, about five or six. Um, so I will be doing a quick book haul thing on my birthday as I have gotten a few books over the months. I'm just going to do a big video on everything I've gotten, show how I set up my books and everything. Um... And on Instagram, I will be posting a uh, wrap-up of January's reads so you can see what all the covers look like. And, excuse me, <laughs> and you can also, you know, 
see reviews. I have written one or two, I think, since the year started. And third one's going to be coming out as soon as I finish this. This should just be a couple more days, honestly. Um, I have wanted to mention that I am currently reading another book. But this will be in the February wrap-up. I'm hoping to finish this by this weekend. And on another related note, if you are in my Fable Book Club, our February pick, which is starting Monday, February 5th, is A Touch of Darkness by Scarlett St. Clair. This is a Hades and Persephone retelling. And I'm quite excited for this book. Uh, I really hope everyone in my book club can read this. Because I love, love, love mythology retellings, specifically Greek mythology. I know we read Lore um, by Alexandra Bracken during the summer, and I absolutely devoured that book. So I hope I can devour this book too. Hi, uh, big reminder that this is a spicy book, and it depends on if your parents allow it. But if you're under 18, I highly don't recommend you read this. It is going to probably be very, very spicy. But you know what? If your parents allow it, I say read it. But I'm not your parent. I'm just happy I get to read it now. So I hope everyone has a great February. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy birthdays. Happy anniversaries. Happy any day. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.